Welcome everyone back to the channel. Today we have a bunch of new information on Modern Warfare 3 Season 4 and today we're going to be going through all that. This is kind of like a new style of video that I might start doing to build up hype for the new seasons, you know? Every time we're getting ready to approach a new season, uh, Infinity Ward or Activision, whoever, you know, Call of Duty drops a roadmap of all of the new content and they drop a blog uh, detailing all of the new content that's going to be coming to the game. So I thought it'd be cool to go through and just talk about it so that you have a video to run through it all. This won't be including Warzone content because I don't really play Warzone, um, but I, I will click, quickly run through. I just won't be going in depth on the Warzone stuff. This will mainly be multiplayer, um, but I will quickly run over the Warzone stuff from the roadmap just so that I acknowledge them. But if you are new to the channel, be sure to leave like, subscribe, and turn on notifications to be notified every time I upload another video. I also recently started a Discord finally for the first time in, in like a few years. Um, link will be in the description below if you would like to go and check that out. So we're here on the blog page just to quickly run over the Warzone stuff. They got buyback solos coming. Um, new uh, features including wars and rewards gulag variants bunkers updates and then they'll be adding a uh, specialist perk package for the foresight kill streak unlimited tax sprint boots runaway train public event a poi update um, and redacted weapons and then there's a bunch of stuff for rank play resurgence and then in season you'll get the world tiers of wars in but i don't really play wars in, so i'm not going to go in depth on all of that but that's essentially how it is so the first thing i quickly have to talk about is soap being back if you didn't play the um model for three campaign i mean first of all i'm sorry for spoiling it you probably should have you know played that by now you know we're almost talking about the next game i feel like we've given enough grace period um and it's all over twitter anyways um soap dies in the campaign and he literally gets shot right in front of you like in the head like he's confirmed dead on site like and they did this with alex in model for 2019 which that was kind of like an off-screen death oh he died in an explosion he can technically come back you never know i still didn't like it but i was just like eh, it is what it is this is just fucking stupid at this point i don't care anymore because just he got shot in front of you i think i heard something i don't know how true this is but i heard something about maybe like the um because we'll talk about something that's coming up later um the DNA bomb is coming back and I saw something where it was like the chemicals of the DNA bomb revived him or some dumb shit That's the dumbest shit ever. Oh my god, and I was I made a joke on Twitter I was, I was like maybe this gas mask is what keeps them alive It's feeding them some chemical or some dumb shit and it's just I don't really agree with it But I mean it is what it is. I don't care. It's just a character so we're getting three brand new um, 6v6 maps in Season 4, two at launch and one mid-season, I believe. The ones on launch is Tokyo and Paris, and I am really excited for the Tokyo. I mean, Paris is going to be cool, but I, if you don't know me, I'm a huge... I've studied Japan for quite a while, just that country, the culture, everything. I'm very interested in it. No, I didn't come from fucking anime. That is not how I got into Japan. I just got into the country based off its music, and I started learning Japanese and all this other stuff, and I've just been the past, like, since... 2021 roughly like the beginning of 2021 was when i started uh studying you know the culture and the language and everything and i've just been so interested in their way of living and i listen to japanese music daily and everything and just japan's a big part of my life just all that stuff so seeing um a map of tokyo uh coming to model for three is very exciting for me um, Paris is really cool too, but I am very very um, extremely excited and this is a medium-sized map And it says experience Tokyo nightlife in this mid-sized multiplayer map featuring late-night shopping entertainment and accommodations for the weary traveler There's an arcade. There's a center courtyard um, that you can go and um, You know fight in and just it looks really really cool. I'm really excited now Paris on the other hand is also a medium-sized map These are both medium-sized or all three of them actually are so we're not getting any super small maps We're not getting any unnecessarily big maps. So as a person that plays search and story a lot, I'm very happy about this because medium-sized maps are good for the most part this is obviously giving like um uh resistance vibes as you have the eiffel tower in the background of course you have the typical you know paris looking buildings and it just it looks really cool because i also really like this because we got grime which was kind of like a sad depressing map but it took place in the uk i mean that's just how the uk is they rains a lot there which i thought that was pretty cool so the fact that we're getting paris now as well as tokyo i really like the fact that we're going to all these different parts of the world. I, I find it very fascinating. Then in season, we have another mid-sized map um, called Incline, which kind of reminds me of the one map we got in Vanguard. I don't know if this is the same map. If it is, that's 
going to be very unfortunate because that map wasn't really that good. It doesn't look like the same map, so I'm hoping it's not, but it's just, it's a, uh, it's a snowy, like, um, what's the, what's it called? Like gondola station type map. You know, those places where you ride the gondola down and up a mountain and everything. It's essentially an isolated research post, but it looks like one of those, uh, gondola. They didn't include a map overview like they did Paris and Tokyo. So we'll have to wait to see more about that. Another map, which is not necessarily new. It's Das Gross, which is <laughs> Das House, but looking like it came straight out of Doom. Kind of like how we've gotten, like, uh, the different variations of Rust and Terminal and all those maps. So I thought those were pretty cool. The only problem I have with those is that they're not in the search and destroy rotation. I wish they were because they're so aesthetically pleasing. Granted, they kill my FPS, but they're very good looking. We have new multiplayer modes, um, Demolition, uh, Cause Havoc, Get Ranked. We're getting Demolition at launch, which everyone knows Demolition. It's a fantastic mode. I'm really excited to get that back. We're getting Hyper Cranked, which I'm a, a huge fan of the Cranked game mode, but this is a different type of variant of it. And essentially, of course, if you haven't played Cranked, you have to, once you get a kill, you get put on a timer and you have to get another kill within that timer or else you're going to blow up. The difference between this and the original Ranked mode, though, is that you once you spawn in, you're already cranked you don't have to get a kill to get cranked um you kind of just have to constantly go at it you're always on the timer essentially which is going to be very very stressful and i might make a video on it mid-season we're getting havoc which essentially you have to eliminate the enemy while experiencing changing gameplay modifiers throughout the match um which we had in mw2 which was a really cool game mode like you would get a you would get a thing where you were like uh had zero gravity and stuff oh actually they have a list of the multipliers or the different uh changes i'm not gonna you know list through them all but you can see them on the screen right here and pause to read them a lot of cool stuff it's a fun game mode mid-season we're also getting headshots only which is pretty self-explanatory i think it's just it's just the uh team deathmatch just headshots only so there's essentially going to be these things called playlist modifiers which if i'm reading this correctly certain playlists will include like gameplay modifiers kind of like the minefield mode where in, in that mode when you got a kill um, the person would drop a landmine that would be yours and the enemy could walk over it and, you know, landmine would go off. But some playlists might have an active killstreak or event-based modifier, which could be like looping killstreaks, meaning that streaks will reset fully once you reach the upper end of your current streak, allowing you to earn unlimited streaks in one life so you can just keep racking them up. And there's a bunch of other stuff. The All the different ones are right here. You can pause and read. We'll be getting another Vortex Mosh Pit and a bunch of other additional content in Season. Then you have your typical, you know, ranked update um new rewards uh charms animated emblems uh blueprints operators stuff like that i'm not going to fully go through those you can go to the blog if you want to see those because it's just a lot of just lists of stuff we're getting new perks and equipment um both at launch and in season at launch we're getting the mission control vest which you'll get six equipment slots uh tactical lethal field upgrade gloves and two gear um, it reduces kills required by one and score required by 125 for kill streaks. So it's kind of like hardline. And then you earn one kill or 125 score for every two kill assist or crossfire assist. So you're going to be earning stuff for assists, which sounds pretty fun. I kind of like it. Another gear that we're getting at launch is the compression plate, which you'll immediately regenerate health after a primary, secondary, or throwing knife slash throwing star kill. Um, so it's essentially like a better quick fix objective captures will also trigger health regeneration um an icon will appear on your hud when the perk is active which is pretty cool so you'll be healing a lot i wonder how long it'll take for that to get nerfed because i from what it seems so the objective capture will trigger health regeneration instantly which it only takes you a few seconds to get fully healed so it, it might be pretty instant that you get back to full health i wonder if that'll be broke something that i'm having flashbacks for is a new kill streak at launch which is the ims which we've seen in call of duty goes it's kind of like a, a bigger version of the claymore you set it down and when people walk by it it'll pop up and it's kind of like a landmine but faster um you need seven kills or 875 score to earn it we're also getting the loitering munition at launch um, which requires eight kills and a thousand score or a thousand score, which is a rocket equipped drone that loiters over targeted areas. On each activation, the drone selects the targeted location with the largest number of viable targets to bombard with rockets can be activated up to three times. That's going to be fine. We're also getting a missile drone at launch, which uh, requires 11 kills uh, and 1375 score, which is a small pilot drone controlled by a player that fires guided missiles. So it's essentially like 
a shooting bomb drone, pretty much. <laughs> and the big one is we're getting a DNA bomb at launch, which is a non-game ending nuke, pretty much. It came from Advanced Warfare, but this will not end the game, from what I know. And it says redacted amount of kills because they're not going to tell us, but it'll probably be either 25 or 30, like usual, I hope, unless they're going for 40. I have no clue. We're going to be getting some new zombie stuff, which you can come and um, look at if you would like. Um, they're still slowly updating zombies, but I feel like that was kind of just a bust um, over time. And I just can't wait for the next COD where we get, you know, proper round based zombies. Um, and then you get onto the Warzone stuff, which, like I said, we're not going to cover. Um, you can go and look at this if you would like. Now, onto the new weapons that we're getting. We're getting the Superi 46, which is an SMG at launch, which is a pistol caliber carbine chambered in 4.6 by 30 millimeter rounds and is designed to give impressive stopping power with a skeletonized lightweight frame. So it's kind of like a vector style. Um, SMG. The big one, though, is the Car 98 Marksman Rifle, which we're getting at launch. I hope this thing doesn't hit marker as much, considering it's a Marksman Rifle. That's the only worry I have for it. I hope you actually get, you know, one taps with it. But I'm very excited to have this uh, weapon back, and it looks so crisp in the image. We're also getting, essentially, it's called the Reclaimer 18, but it's essentially the Spaz 12. Everyone knows Spaz 12 is. It's an automatic shotgun. I'm really excited. Or actually, no, this isn't automatic. I lied. Again, it is automatic. So, there's been spazzes that were pumped, uh, pump action, and there's been spazzes that were automatic, so I wasn't sure which one of this was, but um, it says a rapid and powerful punch, so I assume this is the rapid fire one. We're also getting a sledgehammer mid-season, which is pretty cool. Uh, the spaz is also mid-season. And my favorite part is we're getting eight new aftermarket parts from launch and in season, of course, over the eight weeks of season four. You can look over the full list right here and pause, but I'm gonna, just going to go over the ones that are in the picture because I don't want this video to be too long. We have stuff like um, a SMG kit for the FJX Horus, which kind of like turns into more of a long range one, it seems. Um, we're getting a Lockman Shroud uh, aftermarket part, which I would assume, because what they did with the M16, they're probably just gonna turn it automatic. I just feel like that's useless. And well, not necessarily useless, because it might be better than the normal MP5, but like we already have the MP5, so it's just, there could be cooler stuff. We're getting an RGL-80 launcher aftermarket part. I'm so curious to see what that's going to do. I hope it increases the damage because the grenade launcher, it's kind of annoying, but it doesn't do that much damage, so we'll see. And then the Castle of 762, which is essentially like an AK, we're getting an aftermarket part for that, and I'm excited for that because I want that gun to be viable. I want to be able to use that. I know it is kind of viable, but I personally don't use it a lot. I don't feel like it's good enough for me to use it over other guns. But I'm really excited for that. One more thing that I do want to go through, uh, go over, is an M4 Har or Jack Harbringer kit, um, which is a 50 cal conversion kit for the M4. That is an extremely deadly and a quick kill weapon. It's a, sl a slow fire rate, um, a drop in bullet velocity, and a significant increase in recoil. Um, but the damage will be higher, which I'm so excited because the M4 is my favorite gun of all time. So anything working with that and giving new stuff to that makes me happy like i said you can go and um look at that stuff black cell stuff i personally don't care about um you can see the battle pass right here we're getting the new operators uh soap hammer and void and dupe and copy which um are like a duo thing uh for black cell and then we're gonna be getting pride month of free like uh, rainbow camos which actually look kind of cool um they'll be free in the shop and the last thing to talk about is the gundam partnership that they're doing which we're getting a bunch of tracer packs for that which is super super cool um which i mean it kind of makes sense with us having a tokyo map um that's that'll be pretty exciting a peek at the weekly challenges we're gonna be getting some cool camos um we're gonna be getting some cool prestige and weapon prestige challenges and my favorite and most exciting thing is we're getting obsidian back as the uh weapon uh mastery uh camos um, you know how we got that, like, one gold uh, camo, which was pretty cool and animated? We're getting Obsidian for the next one for all guns. In order to uh, earn Obsidian, you have to earn the first uh, weapon, like, prestige uh, camo, uh, which is not hard. You just got to earn a certain amount of XP, so just use a gun and you'll unlock it, and then you can go for Obsidian, which should be the same challenge as just getting a certain amount of XP. And this might be better than the MW2019 version because it... Odds are it'll probably be animated, but even if it's not, I don't mind because this was so pretty in MW 2019, so I'm very excited. And that is essentially the gist of everything coming in Season 4. I understand this was a, uh, a 
decently long video I would assume because there's a lot to go over but I just love that we're getting these really packed seasons and I'm really excited for this to come out in the coming days um, along with X Defiant this week so there's just a lot of content be sure to leave a like subscribe and turn notifications to be notified every time I upload another video because there's gonna be a lot of videos that I will be posting it's a very busy week like I said X Defiant season 4 make sure you're here thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you guys in the next video have a good one